Hello, and welcome to Premium Potions. What is it that brings you into my humble little shop today? Are you perhaps here for some potion making ingredients so that you can craft some of your own brews? Or are you interested in one of our customized blends? Or perhaps you fancy one of our pre-bottled concoctions, of which we carry many. What is it that you're interested in today? You're interested in some of our pre-bottled concoctions? Well, that is certainly no problem, as you can see by the extensive selection behind me. Um, do you know exactly what kind of potion it is that you're seeking? Okay, so you're just getting into working with potions, it sounds like. Um, any particular types of magic that you're interested in doing? Mm-hmm. But you're not quite sure what kind of potions that you're interested in purchasing today. Okay, well, since you're just starting out, um, maybe you'd be interested in trying a few at very low cost. Being the season of the witch, we are having a sale on quite a few of our potions this week. Well, this entire month actually, but uh, this week in particular, we have some extra deep discounts that you can take advantage of. Um, would you like me to run through some of the potions that are in that deep discount? And then you can select a few that you might be interested in trying. You can take them home and work with them and see how they work in all of your spells. Um, does that sound like something you'd be interested in? Okay, let me just go grab a few of our deeply discounted potions then, and uh, I'll bring them back here and run through them with you, okay? Okay, be right back. Now, first up, we have Mummy Dust, and uh, this one is currently 75% off, so it's an excellent discounted potion this week. And this one is really handy for anytime you need spells um, to do with time. So um, it's great for, like, if you want to do uh, a disguise as, you know, like an old woman or an old man, uh, this is a great ingredient to use in those recipes. Uh, this is also great for any kind of time spell, such as, you know, increasing time, running back time, time travel, different things like that. Mummy dust is always an essential ingredient in that. And of course, should you find yourself um, desiring to resurrect the dead, mummy dust will definitely be in the top three ingredients in any spell in that arena. So um, again, it is 75% off this week, so it's definitely uh, a good ingredient to have on hand, and with that discount, it's something that uh, you can try for very little um, down, and then, you know, should you want more later during other times of the year, you'll already know whether it's something that you want. So, uh, do you think this is an ingredient that you would like to have in your cupboard? You think you're going to pass on that one because you don't really do time spells? Okay, well then, let's see what else is on our discount list today. Uh, another one that we are running a special on is Fairy Dust. Now, the Fairy Dust is 50% off this week, and Fairy Dust is an excellent ingredient to add to flying spells. So, um, if you're having a little trouble getting that broom off the ground and you want to rub a little spell on it to give it a little extra bounce off the earth, uh, making a potion using fairy dust will definitely help with that. 
Fairy dust is also a great ingredient in any kind of happiness spell when you're trying to elevate your mood or make someone else happy. You know, it's great for if someone's angry with you. You can make a little potion utilizing some fairy dust and, uh, you know, then, you know, you can help improve their mood and improve whatever problems are going on, you know, between you. How is it harvested? Uh, well, when fairies are out flying around, particularly around flowers, because they spend a lot of time in flowers, you know, they often dwell in flowers or have summer vacation homes in flowers, and of course they do help um, change the seasons when it comes to flowers, and what we do is we just go out, it's best to collect it right around twilight or just before sunrise. Uh, so, you know, just after sunset or just before sunrise, the twilight hours seem to be when it's easiest to find. It has a very distinct glow during those hours, and we just go along and collect all the excess that the fairies um, have left behind while they're traveling. You know, it just kind of falls off and sprinkles to the flowers, and. We just collect it and bottle it, and it makes for wonderful potions and spell-casting ingredients. So, uh, do you think that's something that you're interested in today? You would be interested in that? Okay. Then we'll just set this right over here. You can take that when we're done. Uh, shall I run through a few more? Okay. Now this next one is Vampire Blood, and this is a very potent potion. You want to be very careful with this um, because a little really goes a long way, and uh, <laughs> it is very difficult uh, to get our hands on, so it is expensive to start with. However, it is 65% off this week, though I will tell you that even with that 65% discount, um, it is fairly expensive still just because vampire blood is a very difficult thing to harvest. Um, it's difficult enough to hunt vampires, but to hunt vampires without killing them because the blood must be harvested while they're still alive. Uh, so to be able to stick a syringe into a vampire to draw out a little bit of blood and walk away from that can be very difficult, so it is a little bit on the pricier side, but again, if vampire blood is something that you've really been um, just itching to try in your spells, it is 65% off this week. Like mummy dust, uh, vampire blood is also one of the main ingredients for any spells for resurrecting the dead. Um, it's also one of the main ingredients in any spells for taking out revenge on your enemies, and of course, spreading a little vampire blood on any uh, divination tools that you want to use to talk to the dead. Uh, this is a great ingredient to use for that as well, because it comes from beings who are, you know, undead is almost dead. They're not quite alive, so vampire blood really helps breach that veil between our world and the world of the dead. So it's really great for any kind of uh, communication with those who have already gone beyond. So again, a little bit pricey, but uh, if it's something you've been wanting to try, it is discounted this week. You think that one's still a little bit outside your budget? Okay. Yeah, it is kind of an expensive one, but like I say, I just wanted to show it to you because it is 65% off this week, so. Now this next one that we have is Spider Venom, and this particular potion it comes from the Black Widow spiders. We have very carefully milked them. Spider Venom is a very potent potion 
So again, like the vampire blood, you don't want to use too much. Uh, this one is 35% off this week, and it's not nearly as pricey as the vampire venom. Vampire venom is a great ingredient to use for invisibility spells, and it's also uh, just a great one to add to pretty much any spell that you just want to give a little bit of an extra boost to make sure that it works. Um, spiders being, you know, known for their great construction prowess, it really helps weave that spell together, so uh, it's definitely a good one to have on hand. Again, just a few drops will give a huge boost to any spell that you're working on. And it's also really great for any divination spells. So anytime you're looking into the future or anything like that, uh, rubbing your tools or your cards or the candles that you're burning with a little bit of the spider venom will help enhance uh, your ability to see the future with those tools. So it's a handy little vial of stuff to have around and I highly recommend it if you do a lot of divination work. You do do a lot of divination work. Uh, yeah, you'd probably benefit uh, a lot from this then. Um, is this something that you'd be interested in today? It is. Okay. So thus far we have the fairy dust and the spider venom. Would you like me to show you a few more? You think that's good for today? Okay, well why don't I meet you up front and I'll get those wrapped up for you. And uh, when you decide that you're a little more experienced with potion making, you can always come back to my little shop here and uh, you can get some more of the many potions that I have behind me. Or you can grab some ingredients to brew some of your own blends. So uh, why don't we head up front and get you checked out, okay? Happy spellcasting.